A lot of people think because of the release of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on the Switch that Mario Kart 9 cannot come to the system. But in this video, I'm going to explain why Mario Kart 9 will come to the Nintendo Switch. What's going on, it's Cyroth here, bringing you a new Nintendo video, and today I'm going to be talking about Mario Kart, a series of games that I haven't talked about in a little while, probably since the review of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe that I've made, and in that review, I've mentioned that I really appreciated how, not only how the developers made an incredible port of the Wii U game, but also added a lot of new content to it as well, such as the battle mode and some new characters coming into the game. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe was a great game to put in the first year launch lineup for the Nintendo Switch because it was probably fairly easy to do, definitely easier than making an entirely new Mario Kart game to launch in the first year. However, I still think that a new Mario Kart game is going to be on the Nintendo Switch system. Now the main argument that I hear constantly is that there's only been one Mario Kart game on each system and that will remain true for the Nintendo Switch and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe counts as the Switch's Mario Kart game. Except. It's not. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is clearly just an enhanced version of the Mario Kart game that we got on Wii U, and I think that just this rule isn't set in stone, so I think that Mario Kart 9 could still come to the system. Nintendo probably is only applying their releases by this rule because they want a Mario Kart to be the one Mario Kart on the system that is going to have a long lifespan and that they could release more downloadable content for because if Mario Kart 8 wasn't the only Mario Kart on the Wii U, Nintendo probably couldn't sell as much DLC for that game as they did. The Mario Kart franchise is valued higher by having only one release per system, in a similar way to the Super Smash Bros. series having only one release per system. However, like I mentioned in my recent Super Smash Bros. video, if a port of Smash 4 was to release on Nintendo Switch, I still think it would be possible for an entirely new Smash game to come to the system because Nintendo could promote it as, oh, an entirely new Smash Brothers and brand it in that way. Change the graphical style and the type of content within the game. This could easily happen for the Mario Kart series, as Mario Kart 8 Deluxe was really only created to flesh out the first year launch lineup for the Nintendo Switch. Not only is the concept of the Nintendo Switch selling the system, but the launch lineup of games really is having a huge impact on selling it as well. There are some major releases already out for the Nintendo Switch, and I think that Mario Kart launching in April was good to buy some time between Zelda and a new IP in ARMS. It's just a way for Nintendo to say that we have lots of games on Nintendo Switch and lots of games that people really like because Mario Kart 8 was a beloved entry in the Mario Kart series, some calling it the best entry that there ever was in Mario Kart series. So the fact that Nintendo has that game on the Nintendo Switch allows them to promote the system even further they're saying, hey, we have some fantastically rated games on this system that people are going to enjoy. However, if Mario Kart 9 were to still release, maybe a couple years from now, even as early as 2019, I feel, it would still be enough of a gap between the release of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe to this new Mario Kart game because nobody really considers Mario Kart 8 Deluxe a new entry in the Mario Kart series. Nintendo could say, we have one entirely new Mario Kart on each system, even after this Mario Kart 8 Deluxe release. It's just there to bide some time from this first year to when the multiple development teams within Nintendo have some more games developed for the system and Nintendo has to be less reliant on ports because we've already gotten a Mario Kart 8 port and a Pokemon Tournament port and I think that if Nintendo wants to increase the amount of Pokemon Tournament games being made and make that a bigger series than it already is then they can make an entirely new Pokemon tournament in the future as well. Splatoon 2 is getting more content now from the original Splatoon in DLC updates throughout the holiday season, but it mainly is a port of the old game, using many of the old maps as well as some weapon concepts and so on. I really like Splatoon 2 as a game on its own, however, I'm just saying that it's not entirely original as a game and it's mainly just there 
to increase the amount of games in the first year of the Switch to allow the system to have stronger sales. You have to think about it from Nintendo's perspective as well. The more big series that they have on the Switch earlier on, the more it's going to sell because people have faith in the system. Oh, I really like the Splatoon series, so I'm going to pick up the Switch in anticipation for a new Splatoon game to be released on it. And I think that is also an idea that relates to the Mario Kart situation that Nintendo could also have a new Mario Kart on the system because they already attract some people to the system that really like Mario Kart, that Mario Kart's their favorite series. So they say, hey, look, there's a Mario Kart on Nintendo Switch. I'm going to pick up this system. I know it's just the same game as the Wii U, but I may not have bought a Wii U before or, oh, I'm really attracted to this new battle mode feature that's coming to the game. It was never properly implemented into the game in Mario Kart 8, so this is a big enough selling point for me to go and buy Mario Kart 8. Or even for the people who aren't hardcore Mario Kart fans and are just looking for another game to buy on the Switch, hey, it's there. There's some variety for you if you are looking to buy a game on this system. It's there. It's ready for you to go and pick it up if you desire a racing game to play in the first year. Now, because it's deluxe and they're promoting Mario Kart 8 Deluxe as a Mario Kart game which contains all of the content from Mario Kart 8, like all the DLC and more, I doubt that they'll ever release DLC for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So if they want to add any new features to the Mario Kart series, they'd have to do it in an entirely new Mario Kart game, and that would be Mario Kart 9. The entire purpose of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe was to flesh out the first year launch lineup and I'm sure Nintendo has many more new ideas that they'd like to implement in a brand new Mario Kart game and that will be releasing on the Nintendo Switch because Nintendo doesn't really care too much about this one Mario Kart per system idea because they only do that to value out the Mario Kart series more and because they're just porting over a game, now the value for the series is going to increase because you're going to introduce a brand new game. It's not devaluing the series by porting over a Wii U game to the Nintendo Switch. One of the big reasons that they're porting over Wii U titles to the Switch, not only is to flesh out the launch lineup, it's because, hey, we have this great game made for a system that didn't sell for many people. So if we put it over to a new system, and that system ends up selling more than the Wii U, which the Switch is probably going to do very soon because it's sold over 7 million units since March, then they'll be able to use those great Wii U games that were on a system that people weren't able to play much because they didn't want to pick it up because they thought that, oh, I'll just wait for the next system because this Wii U, it looks like just an upgrade to the regular Wii. Now, they're looking to purchase a Nintendo Switch and they have all these great games from the Wii U on the Switch for you and it's just easier for Nintendo to port over those old games. I think we have enough ports on Nintendo Switch now and a new Mario Kart game is definitely going to come to the system. But I'd really like to know what you think about this. Remember to let me know in the comment section below and like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and want to see more about Mario Kart that are going to release very soon. I'd like to talk about what I'd want to see in a Mario Kart 9 if that ends up coming to the Nintendo Switch, as well as some more characters that I'd like to be included. I did make a top 10 about that. I'll link it on the screen if you want to see it. Have a great day.